tower. He's named the Pretender. I don't know. Well, I, I do know why, obviously, because he's pretending to be the tower, but I don't know why he's doing that. Oh. We have a stalker. What is going on, everybody? We are back with episode four. It did take us a while. I had company over my house, and I could not record. But now that we're back, let's jump right back into it. So, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm not entirely sure what we did last. So, let's go ahead and check on our story mission progress and, you know, all that other stuff. The seeing Stone. Me and his ethels under siege in the Palantir be before the city falls. Find the Palantir. Palantir. Cannot speak. There's no time. We can only take the most value. We're taking everything. Idrid, sacrifices must be made. We'll not sacrifice our past to fear. Ho oh, there. Who are you? Baronor, this is the ranger I was telling you about. You've spilled much blood for me this evening. You don't even know your name. Talion. Gondor thanks you. We need all warriors at the gate. But the Uruks seek the Palantir. They will not stop until it is theirs. Where is it? My father has hidden it. There's nothing safe, hidden or otherwise. The Uruks will tear this city apart to find it. These are desperate times. But we will not surrender, and we will not fall. We cannot. If you think about it, there's really no winning against the orcs. I don't even know why you're trying to fight. You should just run. I mean, there's unlimited amounts of them, and they're just making more. They're like rabbits. They just don't stop coming. Oh, I gotta kill these guys. Big bet. Watch this. One, two. I'm out of focus already. And I'm almost dead already. All right. I forgot how hard the beginning of the game is. I don't have any skills. Alright, well, I'm going to say, honestly, if you're having trouble with the game, it's probably just, just the beginning of the game thing. Because, honestly, the beginning of the game is the hardest for me. Because I don't have any uh, skills to back up on. Only the beginning. There'll be more. Idril, you're like three feet tall. What we're dealing with. This way. Look at how much taller I am than you. You're like up to the bottom of my chest. Alright, how about you follow me? I already know where we're going. We're going to this cliff. I feel like these targeting circles are... Not even planned. I feel like they just track the player. Like if I turn left, the targeting circle is going to appear right in front of me. Yeah, okay. Think for it or anything like that, because I know YouTube's got this, like, exclusive um, member club or something like that. I think that's, that's kind of stingy for a YouTuber to do, to, like, exclude content to people with money. But, I don't know, I guess being a part of an exclusive club is make you feel, make you feel special. Another seed feast is in range. Destroy it. We're still gonna get this done. All right, destroy siege bees. Pity we can't take it with us. It's a formidable weapon. Yeah, no, Caliburn Bor, we're not taking that with us. All right, reach the next siege beast. Skill unlock Shadow Strider. Press A while leaping to double jump allows you to cover wider gaps or or change di direction between jumps. 
can also be used after leaping, leaping off an edge. I cannot really. One and um, throw some more flaming rocks at people because that's what CHBs do. They throw flaming rocks. Sauron's armies have grown massively. A conventional victory against him will not be possible. We must secure the Palantir. We push them back. For now. Yeah, good job. Another attack Go team. Surely follow. We should return to the upper city. Check on Idril and the others. It's not enough for them to destroy us. Just to wipe away our history. At least they don't have the seeing stone. The gates are holding. These relics were my life. My father was right. We must salvage what we can and leave. You have a valuable weapon. The Seeing Stone gives you sight over your enemy. Use it. It is too dangerous. The Palantir is poison to men. None can withstand its influence. I can. Men before you have thought the same. And if I'm wrong, I will fail as they have failed. But if I'm right, we win this war. Then I will find my father and speak to him. She will hold you to your oath, Ranger. Okay, well, um, I just want my plant here. You so, um, trust in her. who do I have to kill to get it? Until then, we should return to Shelob. I need more answers. Boom, new region unlocked, Kirithungal. Alright, cannot believe I haven't been here yet, but okay. Left bar to open quest menu. Knife in the dark. Alright, let's get it. Knife in the dark. The armies of Kirithungal are gathering for the final assault on Minas Ethel. Shelob has information that can help you target and eliminate the leaders of the Orc army. Return to her and decimate Sauron's army from within. Outpost. Disable outpost to reduce enemy strength in the region. To disable an outpost, defeat the captain who leads it. Alright, so... What it means... I, this fooled me when I first started playing the game. When it says... Lower the strength or like decrease the strength of an enemy region... I don't actually think that does anything like you literally only kill a captain so the way they phrase it doesn't really make sense to me because it doesn't actually decrease the strength of orcs or like cripple the fortress or anything it just you just kill a captain so I wouldn't let that fool you I mean they kind of sound it make if they kind of make it sound more I don't know more New enemy Grogs. Grogs are formidable beasts that require considerable effort to bring down. When a Grog roars, shoot it in the head with a charged shot to stun it. Yeah, I don't ever... I don't even do that. What you're going to want to do, like I said in one of the previous episodes, I think, is once you get to a new region, you want to... First thing you want to do is knock out all three of the Hydeer Towers. A, so you can teleport and not have to run everywhere all the time. And B, you get a free skill point, which is what we are trying to get now. So let's move on to our next tower. Alright, and now this tower is ours. So, there are two things you can do. 
you could either A, stop, um, you could just press B and not find all these things, which I have done sometimes. I'm not going to lie, I've done it once or twice. But um, it's actually beneficial to find everything while you're in this site. So you don't have to come back here and do it again later. I don't, I don't, how do I phrase this? I don't hate Lithlad, I just don't like it. It's too big. Because literally, probably 60% of the map itself is just open sand. And the rest of it is like ridiculously large outposts. And not that I go to outposts either way, but say I'm trying to find one guy. He's like 3,000 meters away because the map is so large. And I would actually probably hate the region if I didn't have the skill where I could summon a drake and fly across it. Or I can't even teleport because yeah, I'm pretty sure on brutal difficulty. It's either on this difficulty or the game is just bugging out or something, but... When I am activating a Nemesis mission and I teleport, all it does is it moves me to where I wanted to teleport. Say there was a mission on the left side of the map and I'm on the right side and I want to teleport to the left. It'll teleport me, but it'll move the mission to where I just left. So I move to the east side or not east side. I move to the west side of the map and then the mission on the west side while I'm teleporting, we'll move to the east side. So the game is trying to make me run across the map, which I don't like at all. I hate that. It's literally stupid. It defeats the purpose of fast travel. What is this here? Filled in peace. Wow, I didn't even know this was here. Alright, we're gonna grab this, which means the tower must be close. Yeah, it's 600 meters away. There we go. Here we are. And let's kill this guy real quick, just because. I'm gonna enjoy killing you so much. I give you 30 seconds and you're dead. Or I would have given you 30 seconds if I didn't miss those shots. That was bad. Alright, I don't have that skill, but I do have execute. We're gonna do that again and you're dead. All right. Well, that was uh, probably somewhere close to 30 seconds, I hope. I know it wasn't exactly 30 seconds. So I know it was less than 30 seconds, but that's what I said. I gave him 30 seconds and he was dead. So let's go ahead and grab our last piece. All right. tower he's named the pretender i don't know well i i do know why obviously because he's pretending to be the tower but i don't know why he's doing that oh we have a stalker cross the fear lord apparently he's a tracker he does not have anything that'll kill us instantly so i'm going to stealth attack him after i use my skill point on something useful so oh we're at the end of this tower per all right so we're gonna get retaliation Time your last chance, success perfectly to instantly kill the enemy targeting you. And once we're level 13, we can get adamant, gain an extra last chance attempt, which will be very useful, especially seeing as how we're playing on brutal difficulty. All right, let's kill this clown. Wow, that did barely any damage. You can't jump over trackers, which, oh, wow. Where do these guys come from? All right, I need, I need elf shot. Man, Phil. Ooh, I like surprises. I like getting them, and I like giving them. Wow. Okay. You like giving surprises. How, uh, how unique. I feel like the uniqueness of. I don't think that's a word, but I said it anyway. Who are you? 
to kill, but two, two means twice the mate and twice the savage. Barrel Tribe, new enemy savages. Savages counter normal attacks from the front, press B to stun them before attacking, or strike them from behind. Alright, so that's what the game tells you, but don't do that because that is stupid. What you're going to want to do is don't try and press B on them from the front because they'll just ignore the fact that you did that and they'll hit you anyway. Which I don't particularly like, but I just got used to it. Level 6. Alright. That's a new skill point, which we are going to spend now in hopes that we'll get something to help us kill this guy in front of us. Let's see here. What's this? Brutalized. Not helpful in this situation. Freeze pin. I don't know if that'll be helpful. What can we do? Alright. So. Brutalized. If we go down the predator tree, we can get Wraith Chain, which I use every day. And Shadow Blade, which I first chain death still consumes no focus. Oh no, okay. Deathly spec. I don't use this move at all. I don't use Poison Tendril ever. Death Threat is for later. Alright, so we're going to save the Predator Tree for later on. What about the Range Tree? We need Bird of Prey. Mighty Shot. Shadow Strike. But we have to go through Freeze Pin first. So... Um, uh -huh, uh, Elven Light. We need Elven Light first. We're going down the Wraith and Ranged first. I don't feel like we need... Um... Oh, it did work from the front. I still never do it, though, because later game... Say you press B on an orc, they'll pretty much just ignore the fact that you did that and hit you anyway. That's what happens to me, literally all the time. Every time. But early game, these guys are actually pretty easy to kill. They're not hard. Alright, so, let's see what we're going to do right now. We have collected all three. Okay, so we have all of our Hydea Towers, so we have all the unlockables displayed out on the map for us. So... Let's actually, let's go to the next story mission first. We need to see Shelob. Her visions can help us. We need the ring. Let's go to the next story mission, and then we're going to start hunting down collectibles. Not the, uh, we're not going to start hunting down the Gondorian artifacts just yet. I am going to start on the Athildendor pieces. Because those, those are more important. Because getting those doors open gives us that legendary Bright Lord's armor, which is pretty pretty useful. So we we're going to go ahead and grab those first. She can help us. We share an enemy in Sauron, but she is not our ally. I can tell Caleb Brimbor doesn't really like the spider. <laughs> that he is made apparent. Alright, new enemy, Olag High, War Trolls. Olag High are tough combatants with powerful attacks. They will defeat a t they will defeat attempts to vault them. Alright, but you can avoid their attacks by pressing A to dodge or slide through their legs. Alright. They can be stunned with a charged shot to the head or by landing a properly timed counter. Wait, you can You can counter? Oh no, that's with B. I was like, hold on, have I been able to do that the entire time? I don't think so. I hope not. Alright, follow up with a stun with a series of melee strikes or hold right bar to mount on an O-log or mount the O-log. While mounted, repeatedly tap X to rapidly stab them in the back and move to run them into his comrades. Alright. 
pretty much I'm just gonna shoot him to death. How is he? I'm not used to being this weak. On my level 80, I just gotta aim and tap right bar. Or not right bar, I just gotta tap right trigger and he's dead. I'm not used to this. Um, yes I can, and I, I will. I don't like him. Not only is he probably the ugliest character in the game. They are Olok High, war trolls. They're smarter, faster, and immune to sunlight. Sauron's forces are more powerful than ever. We hate them as much as we hate nasty orcs. Our distance, so we don't get squished and crushed into bits. Like how you tried to crush my head with a rock the last time I saw you. Huh, but we didn't. We could never hurt the Bright Lord. We made up for it now. Yes? That is yet to be seen. Yeah, you better, you little ugly frog looking. I hate Gollum with a passion. With a passion. We're very close. I know why you are here. Return what you have stolen. Silence, Ringmaker. You forget yourself. Stolen. You begged me to have it. And what of you, Tommy? I'm here for Minas Ethel. You seek to save it. Even though it may already be lost. There must be a way. There is truth in your vision. Grant me another. To what end? For knowledge. To dominate? Oh, you don't have to tell me. Here is your truth. <sighs> you will move up the ranks. You got to kill. You might get noticed. Kill a pink skin. The bigger the target. Die, he rhymes. She dies. Many will pass before Sauron is defeated. This knowledge can guide our hand. If we kill this assassin, perhaps this future will not come to pass. She can be saved. She will live or die with honor, and it will not shift the tide of war. It is Castamere who must be protected. If he falls victim to this assassin, we will lose the Palantia. Oh, real fountain precious for the Bright Lord. We go to kill it and no. Please, we'll find the nasty assassin. <laughs> Assassin must be stopped. Gollum, do you know where to find him? Yes, we recognized his curved blade. A Morgul blade? Yes, stab, stab, stabbing all the war chief's bodyguards. If we find the Uruk bodyguards he's targeting, 
We'll find the assassin. But first, Renner's near. This way. Your way. The only thing nasty in my vicinity is probably you. I mean, just look at you. Hold on, let me see if I can... Nope, can't kill him. Alright. Alright, so here, you don't actually have to kill them. It's just prompting you to shoot the Morgai fly nest. So... Okay. After I get rid of this guy. So basically, in this game, the orcs can be scared off if they're in large numbers. If you see a Morgai fly nest above them, go ahead and shoot it, and the flies will drop down and scare the orcs. Now, you're going to want to be careful about... Could you stop? You're going to want to be careful about when you do this and who you do this around because some orcs can be enraged by Morgai flies while others, and by others I mean most, are terrified by them. So you're going you're gonna to want to check the captain's weaknesses and enrages before you go ahead go around shooting more guy fly nests because it could help you most of the time or it could just make things ten times worse all right so you follow the footsteps the first body is right over here the easiest one to find only a mogul blade could have caused these wounds we're on the right track. He's been dead for some time. We'll need to move faster if we want to catch up with the assassin. Yes. We know where another bodyguard is. As the assassin kills his way up the hierarchy, he'll continue to seek bigger targets. Like Castamir. Yes. Castamir is the only one who knows where the Palantia is. He must be kept alive at all costs. All right, so follow the footsteps, and it's leading over there, so let's jump. And it stops here. Hold on, so let's drop down and come this way. Or on the back. Oh, wait, no, it has to be in that green circle. Okay. Um... Where could it be? Oh, I went the wrong direction. It's this way. Alright, so let's climb up here and see if we can see it from up here. While I'm up here, I'm going to grab this, though. I believe this plate is of Easterling manufacture. The ceramic and the style of decoration is a sort unknown to me or anyone I've shown it to. I know that the Easterlings from beyond the Sea of Rune have never been friends to Gondor, and their war chariots and wing wagons are fearsome indeed. But I should like to meet one up close when battle is not at hand. No matter how fierce they are, they're still men, not Uruks or other minions of the Dark Lord. All right. Gondorian artifacts. You can find artifacts looted from the Great Hall of Minas Ethel scattered throughout Mordor. Find them all to unlock the Prospector skill upgrade. All right, so for those of you that do not know what the Prospector skill upgrade is, we're going to go in here, and it is right over here. All right. In order to unlock this skill, you have to collect all of the Gondorian artifacts, and there are several scattered throughout each region, except for Lithlad. There are none in Lithlad. Alright, so, what it does is, it increases your chances of receiving higher quality gems from defeated enemies. Personally, I don't think that's a skill worth having, when you're looking at other skills that you could have. But, if you, I don't know, if you want higher level gems from killing enemies, go for it. I will go over the standard or 
I don't. I wouldn't say standard. I'd go over the. I don't even know what to call it. Just the uh, the skill tree I use for my playstyle. I'll go over that, and then I'll go over. I guess I could call it the standard playstyle for all players. So what I think a normal person would use. Yep. Nope. You're not killing me. What I think a normal person would use in this game, and then what I use. Because I definitely do not play this game very safely at all. Alright. Now everybody can stop trying to kill me. I can look at this body. Wounds from a Morgul blade, just like the last one. This kill happened more recently than the other. We are getting closer. Gollum should know where the next target is. All right, so let's get back to Gollum. Little found ugly frog looking. Disgusting, decaying human body. Could you walk in a straight line, please? Never mind, I know where we're going. Wait. Orcs are coming. Hide. He's terrified of Orc Oblars. Let me kill him. Says that you all was afraid of spider things. Never should have told you it. Alright, so they're just gonna camp out here. And they tell you, they say out loud, that they're scared of Morgai flies and spiders. Um, you don't have to know that for grunt orcs. That's just normal for all of them. So they're all terrified of Morgai flies and spiders will just naturally kill them. I don't think there are any nearby, so you're actually just going to have to fight these guys. So let's get a stealth attack on the Olog so we can get a significant amount of his health down. Alright, and let's see if... Let's see if this kills him. It does not. Let's get two. There we go, he's dead. Alright, now we just gotta defeat these guys. And we can move on with Gollum's mission. And find the last body. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and grab that Athildan door piece. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and follow Gollum again. And I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, so I'm just going to run there. Alright, so go ahead and follow the path one more time. And here it is. Yet this one still lives. Let's find out what he knows. Or here he is, I should say. Alright, understanding an enemy's strength and weaknesses gives you valuable insight into how to fight and defeat him. This is true. Now, later game. Personally, I don't use Intel as much as I probably should, but it is still very helpful to have Intel because it tells you an enemy's weaknesses and strengths like we talked about in the last two episodes. Now, weaknesses and strengths are very prominent in this game. Like, every orc will have a weakness and a strength. Now, some orcs are obviously stronger than others. They have more health, less health. Some will deal more damage than others. So it really depends on... A, your skill set, your build, and if you're able to take out a certain enemy with what you're using. If you're not, you're able to switch your skill tree and switch your skills, which I appreciate about this game. Um, you're able to, say you're fighting a guy who is immune to ranged, and your whole build is based on dealing damage through ranged. 
you can switch your gear set in your inventory tab and or your moves list or not moves list your um your abilities in the character tab so that you can more easily get rid of that enemy so that's what i really love about this game you can change your whole style in like a minute all right so press right stick to view the assassin's traits here we go Amug the assassin the assassin has a fear of more guy flies which we see here in his dazed by tab also fear of caragors Preying on his fear will temporarily disable any immunity he has. Use this knowledge against him. Alright, so let's go back. He is he has a fear of more guy flies and a fear of Karagors. So Karagors, his fear isn't going to activate unless he is attacked by Karagors. So he's not dazed by the sight of them, like Grogs and Drakes. Only when he's attacked by them. And vulnerabilities, he has clumsy. And one thing that I want to tell you guys about vulnerability clumsy is you can grab them without having to break them and by break i mean when their health or their um their war banner as in like the the name and their level and their uh what's it called their element tribe and class right underneath their name that will turn green it that's when they're broken it'll turn green when they're broken you don't need to break them in order to grab them if they're clumsy. Like in the last game, Shadow of Mordor, or in this game, Shadow of War. You can just grab them right off the bat. So I can jump over him and grab him. And at that point, you can either repeatedly tap X, in which if you do that too many times in a certain amount of time, which I'm pretty sure is like 3 to 5 seconds, if you just keep tapping X, he'll eventually break out. But if you do it like once or twice every, let's say, six seconds, you're going to be good. Um, you could do that. It will take a while for him to die, though. What I would do is, since he's clumsy, if he's giving you a hassle, just vault over him and then grab him and throw him off a cliff. It doesn't have to be a steep cliff. Just throw him off of something, and he'll probably die. He will die if it's steep enough. If it's like just a little bulge in the ground or a little divot in the ground is not going to kill him. So what happens is there's clumsy and what happens with dazed dazed by is let's say I shoot a more guy fly nest then he's dazed. So his immunities, arrow proof and vigilance against stealth will go away. So what I could do with that is shoot a more guy fly nest and then I could start shooting him with arrows. So his immunity would be gone until he's no longer dazed. Or I could get out of sight and stealth attack him while he is still dazed. Alright, and he's enraged by weakness, but there's there's not going to be any other captains around, so I don't have to worry about that. And he does not have one chance, which is something that almost all assassins have, except for this guy, obviously. And I'm pretty sure the game does that on purpose, because this is a story mission, and they don't want you to die immediately. But assassins do have the trait one chance, meaning they will kill you on sight if you go down. Alright, so, reach the assassin. Exploit one of the assassin's fears is one of our, uh, what's it called? Little side missions. So, first, let's get rid of this archer. I don't want him to alert anybody that I'm around. Let's grab these elf shot, because we're going to be using that. Alright, and let's get rid of you. So there's a more guy fly nest in the area, but first I want to get myself in a position where I can do a stealth attack immediately after... Never mind. Alright, let's get out of sight immediately. That was, that was a bad setup. Alright, so what we can do is shoot the fly nest so the regular orcs will run away and nobody's focused on me. They're still aware of my position though. Because there's an archer there. Alright, the fly nest was shot. And he's no longer dazed. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's get rid of the hunter. He knows where I am. There's another fly nest over here. I followed through with my orders. So if you're here to stop me, you'll be sorely disappointed. Alright, so this went pretty bad. This did not go the way I wanted it to go. 
I gotta get rid of the guys that are around me though, because they're all staring at me. And as long as one person knows where I am, everybody's gonna know where I am, because that's just how the game works. Alright, so let's get rid of him. I only want the guy I'm trying to kill left alive. I didn't unlock combat drain. Alright, that's not gonna work. Let's not let him throw that at us. Did it anyway. Alright, let's stun him real quick so I can grab this. Alright, so I'm going to lead him over here. And I'm just going to keep somersaulting so he can't damage me. I'm going to lead him around the fly nest. He doesn't have to be directly under it. He just has to be near it for it to work. And now that there's nobody else for him to rely on to spot me, I'm going to activate or drop the fly nest by shooting it. And now I can, he's still aware of my position. All right, still says knockdown, still says knockdown. All right, nope, he still knows where I am. All right, so I can't do that. And I can't shoot him anymore because there's no more fly nest around. This was poorly planned. He knew where I was the entire time. That's kind of annoying. Well, now I just got to kill him the old fashioned way. So, never mind. All right, let's not die. So if you failed this like I just did, just vault over him. Press B to stun him, beat him up a little bit. And if you get him knocked over on the floor, you can go ahead and do an execution. Let's hope his death is changed with Shilob saw from the cathedral. Yeah, see, Phil will go the way of all flesh. We only need the seeing star. How much of your soul was lost in that ring. The dark mistress will be pleased. All right, and there we go. That mission is complete. So we can move on. Skill unlock death threat. Instead of gaining intel on a captain, you can order a worm to deliver a death threat to him. This creates a unique nemesis mission within the region. Sending a death threat against the captain increases his level. This makes the fight more challenging, but also improves the quality of gear you receive when you kill him. Alright, so let's go ahead and demonstrate this real quick after I grab this armor. But the siege of Minas Hill continues. The Palantir is still at risk of falling into enemy hands. This is a perfect opportunity to sow chaos within Sauron's ranks. The assassin had one more target on his list. We should finish what we started and kill the war chief's final bodyguard. Alright, so right now I'm just looking around for it. Oh, there we go. Worm just popped up on the map. Alright, so it doesn't actually have to be a worm, it just has to be an intel. So you don't have to look for a guy. It could be a thing on a on a desk if it's it's a whatever thing actually. So it could be a book on a desk that you could use or some intel on a board like right here. So you don't need an actual worm in order to send a death threat. You just need intel. So we're going to go ahead and let's see this guy here. No. All right, here. First, we're gonna gain intel on somebody. Then we're gonna death threat him. But just so that you guys know, that option for a death threat was there, even though it wasn't an actual guy, a worm. So you're able to do that. So here we have Maku the serpent, and now we're just gonna go find either a worm or some more intel, and we're gonna give him, or we're gonna send him a death threat. And whenever you see these little statues here, it could be different. It will be different depending on what tribe it is. The Dark Tribe will always have a monument to Sauron. But um, different tribes have different things. They all have different things. So you should. I advise you to break those. They will give you a free gem every time. Or it could be Mithril. Or not Mithril, Marion. But um, either way, 
it does help to break those. I don't know if it does anything other than give you that, because I know the orcs in the region will be like, oh, you broke our monument, um, stuff like that. They'll just say a little, a little quote. They'll give you a little quote saying that you broke the statue or the monument. I don't know if it does anything other than that, besides giving you the Mirian or the free gem, but I know it does that. And I did see that little, um, what's it called, a little intel to the left there, after I kill this treasure orc here. Alright, now we can move on, we got our Mirian, after I grab that piece as well. Here we go. Let's just grab this and head back over there. Hopefully that worm is still over there. Alright, so we have four pieces now. Yep, Intel's still over there. And it is a worm. So like I said, twice now, it does not have to be a worm. It just happens to be a worm this time. And even if they're aware of you, on the difficulty I'm playing on, or I think it's every difficulty in this game, they're going to run away from you. So you don't have to hold B at him. You can just run up to him, hold right trigger to stealth, or not stealth, to, um, to crouch or to um, sneak. And then you can brand him, drain him, whatever you want to call it. So now we can death threat anybody in the region, even these guys that have the outposts. But we're going to get Maku the Serpent because, oops, hit my microphone, because we already know his weaknesses and strengths. So he's a mortal beast fodder, he's vulnerable to stealth, fear of caragors, exhaustion, battle weary. Alright, here we go. Death threat. Higher quality gear. Alright, so we're going to send the guy to go send the death threat. And let's go check on Maku. Let's see what's changed. So... He has increased 10 levels. He is now a level 20. He was a level 10 before. Now, I don't see any of his weaknesses changed or any of his strengths changed, but I didn't look at his strengths last time. But we're going to go ahead and mark the mission and head over there. Maku is mine. Alright, kill 20 enemies inside the fortress. There are a lot of ways to do this. Personally, my way is not the smartest way, but it is the most fun for me. I literally just drop down and start killing. I'll use bombs sometimes, but I just like to get inside a, uh, a large group of enemies and just start killing them. That's just what I'm used to. Plus, elven agility really helps. I forgot I even had this. So, if you have elven, elven agility, this will definitely help you with this. Alright, we've only got a couple more guys to kill. Let's get this Karagor out of the way. One more. Maku's arrived. to draw me out here I am I suppose now it's my turn to draw you out or more accurately draw your guts out <laughs> all right so mortal beast fodder he can be killed instantly by beasts which means caragors vulnerable to stealth all right so I don't feel like grabbing a caragor so I'm just going to go ahead and get that stealth attack going and who is that Ishma's Earth Salter. Let's see. Commander. Alright, so we're gonna get him later. We we have another Ithildendor piece right here. That was convenient. Alright, so are there three captains here? Oh yeah, okay. That's that's wonderful. 
This should still be pretty easy, though. They're all pretty much low levels. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not Earth Salter. What's his name? The Serpent. We got that stealth attack going, so we got some damage off with that. So, you've had your fun sending me a death threat and drawing me out. Now, it's my turn to have some fun of my own. My All right, again, let's check his uh, weaknesses. I might have to grab that Karabar after all because that stealth attack did not do as much damage as I hoped it would. Uh, fear of Karagors. That really doesn't matter since if I hit him with a Karagor, he'll die anyway. Temporarily becomes days after his rage wears off. So how do I enrage him? This is a technique that I use occasionally. If his only weakness or his only days by is exhaustion, which you will see in your game eventually, and he has a hate, you're going to want to activate that hate, wear him out, and then he will become dazed. But he also has battle weary, becomes dazed after killing another captain. I don't think there's a way to get me to kill another captain. Since there are two captains around here, I don't think he's just going to go, go ahead and swing on them. I'm just going to have to go ahead and grab a Karagor. And turn you into a glorious fountain of rage. Enraged by poison. And he's a trickster. I don't have any intel on him. Intel. And I know he's trying to grab me. Okay, yep, see? When they run at you like that, they're trying to grab you. It's very apparent. You can, you can just tell. Alright, so let's see if anybody runs away, aside from the grunts, with this. We activated his Enrage. Who's that? Alright, so we have four captains here now. Normally, this would be a good cue to run. But, I don't know. I don't really feel like running away. We got him here, up here by himself. That's good. Never mind. Okay, War Banner is a no-no. Can't jump over tricksters. Let's see if we can get this hit off. Trickster's like throwing you around. He's retreating. Alright, you're dead. Let's get a stealth attack. Never mind. Italian just likes going for down guys. Come on. Stealth attack and then execution. Alright, first captain is dead. We've got three more to deal with and one of those guys has a death threat that we need to carry out. This mission got a little more complicated than I had hoped. Okay. There's a commander around me. Oh, wait. That was a commander. Okay. I think... No, that guy was a trickster. All right. Will this kill us? No. I refuse to die. Our death threat is on Maku the Serpent. We just got some elf shot back. Let's see if there aren't any other archers around. Yes, him over there. I don't want to brand anybody on the ground because I'm going to get hit most definitely. So let's stay off the ground and continuously move buildings so that they all have to keep climbing after me. That's why they were hitting me. There's a war banner over there. All right, so... All right, four captains again. Now we've got a berserker to deal with. So this missing, missing. This mission turned out to be very interesting. There are definitely a lot more guys here than I'd hoped. I was literally only trying to get one guy, but there are four now. So you know that happened. We are here to kill Maku the Serpent, and his health, I don't think, went up. There are a lot of guys here. Alright. They know where I am, but Maku doesn't. Never mind, now he does. Let's get back and shoot that barrel, get rid of most of these guys around here. Alright, come on. Let's take out Maku. One more shot should do it. Come on, charge up. All right, let's let's get out of this tight spot. If we go down, we're dying. So 
Let's back off a little bit and shoot Maku from a distance. This should be good. They all know where I am. And they're starting to climb. So let's go to another building now. Now Maku's up there. Got him. Death threat has been honored. All right. Maku the Serpent was killed. Hopefully, you guys' missions won't be this hectic, but, you know, mine was. Now, all the other guys are terrified. I don't know why, but you're not allowed to leave. You just tried to kill me a second ago. That's not fair. Thought you wanted to fight. No running away. And I'm going to go kill that other guy, too. Yeah, you. You're not going anywhere, buddy. You're good as dead. And then we're going to go kill that last captain over there by the gate. Dude, where are you going? Nobody gets to run. Anybody that was here to kill me is good as dead. They're all aware of my position again. Earth Salter is dead. Oh, that was a commander. Okay. Let's see if we can grab this and run before everybody gets enraged and tries to kill me. Yep, there it goes. I'm dead. Nope, I'm good. Ooh. Let's get out of this type spot. Come on, run. I'm not go near that bomb. That'll down me. Now, let's see if we can get out of here alive. That would actually be perfect. Oh, no. Not letting you hit me. That'll kill me, most definitely. Running. Let's grab that cloak. And let's go dominate that worm over there for some health and intel. Alright, let's get intel on these outpost guys here. Rosh the Unseen. Alright, nothing special, just a standard guy. Let's go kill the guy over there by the gate. What's his name? Tar's blood lover. Alright, so first thing we're going to check is to see if we can do a stealth attack. That should always be the way you start off a fight if they're unaware of your position. Always try and get a stealth attack. They do the most damage. I stealthed the wrong guy. Alright, can't jump over him. He's a trickster. I'm in a bad spot. Alright, let's see how much damage that does. Not much. Let's get out of sight. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Yep, blood is blood. That's true. I don't think the orcs can climb up here. So let's hide out up here for a little bit. Get rid of anybody that can see us right now. And let's just sit here until all those arrows turn yellow. Is he looking right up here? Yes, he is. That's a little creepy, to be honest. Alright, so if I hop up on this thing, they're definitely going to see me. Just wait for those arrows to disappear. They're walking around. They're really stupid. Please don't tell me they can climb up here. Oh, I can self-attack without getting up here. All right, so let's get our marker on top. There, got him. All right. He's retreating. He jumped off the edge. That is true. Blood is blood. Now I want to see yours. Just to make sure blood is really blood. This is why I hate tricksters. Because they keep dropping those bombs. Can't get close to them. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. You're not going anywhere. Stop it. No running. Tar's blood lover is dead. So what is that? Like five, six captains? 
All right, so we got ourselves a new bow. I'm gonna keep this one though because it has a chance to poison, and the, the bows are the same damage. I'm going to unlock our last two slots. So now we can put our gems. So I'm going to take these gems off. And let's do that. So now we've got those. And now we've got more gems here. So what I'm going to do is A, get all that better stuff. The armor is exactly the same. I'm going to equip all the better stuff. Alright, so I want most of my damage to be done from my bow and my dagger. The sword is alright, I don't really care about the sword. And then I want most of my health to come from my chest plate. I'll have some health come from my cloak. And just because I have a white, white gem, we're going to put it on our sword just because the slot is empty. So let's get out of here before we die. Because that would be very bad. And let's head over back to our safe zone. Oh, wait, no, we have a skill point to spend. Alright, so let's spend this skill point in, um... I tried to do this move earlier, Elven Light. So let's go ahead and grab that for large groups of enemies. And I didn't read it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and read that. Alright, so Elven Light is unleash a powerful blast when pressing X and A when your might is full, stunning, and temporarily blinding nearby enemies. Very useful when you're surrounded by a bunch of guys like I was just a minute ago. And before we end this episode off, we're going to get intel on one more guy. It'll be another outpost raid guy. Not outpost raid, one of these outpost guys. Two gogs, a master, one monk, a commander. And he's mortally sickly, terrified of Karagors, and he's a deserter. Which is witnessing the death of an allied captain, and he will run in... F in, uh... He'll be terrified and just run. So that guy will be very easy to kill next episode. But that will end off our current episode. So let me know how you guys liked it. If you've been looking forward to these episodes, please let me know. I really enjoy making these for you guys. I love reading all the comments. And yes, I do read all the comments. If I don't respond, I either read it and forgot to respond. Because I'll put my phone down sometimes and do something else. Or I just... I don't know, forgot to respond, or sometimes there's just a comment I don't know how to respond to. Um, but I do love all the support you guys give me, guys, for these episodes. Um, even the War for Mordor episodes, I enjoy doing a lot. Uh, I did work on the second episode for that series yesterday. Uh, so let me know if you guys want me to change anything about the series, if you like the series the way it is, how we'd like to go on moving forward questions comments all that if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a like on the video and i'll see you on my next one